Okay. <clears throat> Y'all give me just one moment. I'm going to get this kicked off. Still my recording. All right. Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yes, I'm trying to grow my beard out, so I saw I look a little like Wolverine here. Um, here, like a like a like a you know dark Wolverine. I'm trying to grow my beard out, but today is or tonight is Thursday night, and it is Dispatch Product Knowledge Training. Now, last time we left off on. We talked about um, 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 load acquisitions. Today, we're going to talk about um, after you find the loads and you contact the broker, you all discuss the terms, and the broker is going to do what? Send you a rate confirmation. Okay. So the broker, now is, we're going to go over the rate confirmation. Now, why is the rate confirmation very important? The rate confirmation is extremely important. It's probably the most important thing you're going to do in this dispatch um, whole series, in, in dispatch. It is extremely, extremely important to make sure that you read and understand the rate confirmation sheet. Okay, let me explain to you all why. If it's not in the rate con, it does not exist. And if a broker is going to screw you, it's going to be in the rate con. Okay? So make sure that everything that you all discuss, the amount of money, you know, if there's any type of detention pay or anything like that, it's got to be in that rate con. If it's not in the rate con, it don't exist. Okay, I want to make sure y'all understand that. If it's not in the rate con, it does not exist. We're going to check in on our YouTube people, see who we got going on here on YouTube. Y'all give me just a moment. Let me uh, pull up my YouTube channel so we can see what we got going on on YouTube and then uh, see who's joining us tonight. Let me do this. I will start sharing my screen here in just a moment, if you all don't mind. Because we are live on YouTube tonight. Okay. So, uh, see who we got joining me on YouTube tonight. Um, so far, we got It's Such a Dog. How are you? How you doing? Star Cobb, good evening. How are you? So, nice of you all to, sh to, to, show, to show up and tune in with us on YouTube. I appreciate y'all. And we've got, uh, yeah, will this be posted for a few hours after stream? Uh, yeah, it's not going to stay up you know, very long. It'll be posted. It'll probably stay up until until Sunday. Um, and then it's going over to our, to our private group page. Okay? So it will stay up until about Sunday. Sunday night. All right? But as I said before, the rate con is very, very, very important. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen here real quick. Share, share, share. All right, there we go. So, uh, but yeah, that rate con is very, very um, important. So let's jump over. Let's jump right in to the rate con. Um, I've got a couple, couple of my rate cons loaded up here um, from the past. And this is this is what a you know I mean this is what a rate con is basically gonna look like. I mean they're not gonna be all the same, but they're gonna be very you know each each broker or shipper you know does their own version of a rate con. But here's the thing that I want y'all to pay very close attention to. This is gonna be a quick quick product knowledge training on that because it's just on the rate con. Um, when you get that rate con. Make sure you check it, double check it, everything. Okay, this is truck confirmation dispatch. This is you no, know, uh, you know, basically what a rate con looks like. Rate confirmation, you know, truck confirmation dispatch, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it one thing, some call it, but it, but it's a rate con. It's a truck confirmation dispatch. Okay, uh, and this is you know our version of it. I'll be best transfer LLC. That's my dispatch firm. 
and you know, the, the, at the time we were doing this, uh, which was a freight brokerage firm at the time. Okay, representation bit by size two. Okay, this is to Don Zimmerman. Now this is when um when we were brokers. Let me make sure to check. Make sure that this is when we were brokers. Yeah, this is when we were brokers. Yep. Yeah, this is when 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 we were brokers, and this is a rate confirmation that I sent to the uh, the carry. Okay. Now, as a dispatch firm, you all will be receiving this from a broker if you're a dispatch firm. But this is what it's going to look like. This is this is how we did our rate con. We make sure that the broker's name is up here, the broker company, which in this case, which was our broker firm, which was RBBS Transport LLC. And we called our rate confirmation truck confirmation dispatch because the truck is being dispatched and this is your rate con, okay? Okay, so you're going to check. Now, it's going to go to, make sure it's going to the right person. Make sure that it has the right information up here of who it's going to, okay? That's going to be your carrier. Okay, the Raycon is going to be addressed to your carrier. Okay, the German Standard Trans Services LLC phone number. Make sure all that's correct. Check the dispatch um, email. Wh whoever the dispatch is, though, that's their dispatch email. You got to make sure that the pickup or where it's being picked up is the same. Okay, you got to check that. Make sure that's all the same. Make sure it all checks out. Steel company, whatever the phone number, whatever case may be. Make sure the delivery information and address is the same as what y'all discuss. Okay? Get these phone numbers. You know, if I were you all, I would actually call these companies to know, just to verify, you know, just to kind of solidify things. Okay? All right. Now, further down on the Raycon, you got your dispatch date. Please check the date. Make sure it's the right date. Make sure the promise pickup date is the right date. Okay. Make sure the promise delivery date is the right date. And make sure that the delivery can actually be delivered on that date. I'm going to go back and check the file. Because if you've got a pickup date on the 24th, okay, and the delivery date on the 25th, but the trip miles, is 940 miles. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. So make sure that you make sure that the mileage, the trip miles, and the data, everything coincides to to where your driver or your carrier can actually deliver that load in a time frame given. Okay, these are some of the things that you're gonna want to look for. Okay, to make sure that you can actually. Do this, and this is actually a doable um, 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 deal because the Raycon is where everything is. See, total miles 534, right? Yeah, they can make that in one day. You come on the 24th, they're going to the 25th. 534 miles. That's that's doable. That's doable. Check the, the, the type of um, freight it is or type of um, um, trailer. This is a flatbed. You want to check that. And you also want to look, make sure that if there's going to be more than one stop, this is very important. This is so very important because if the rate is eleven hundred bucks, and you were told that this was just a one pickup and then one drop, all right? Stop one, pick up. Stop two, deliver. I'm, now I'm telling y'all this. <laughs> Brokers would do this. Now they would do this. If a broker is going to screw you, it's going to be somewhere in here, in this, this area down here. With this money, okay, with the weight, right, and with the, the number of stops and pickups. Number of pickups and drops. That's where they're really going to get you if they're going to screw you. Because if you are not understanding this was a one pickup load and take it to a one destination delivery, if you're not careful, ugh, if you're not up on your game, a broker can put in here, well, you got a second stop, a second pickup. Instead of being a one pickup, you got two pickups. It may have one, one delivery. 
if you ain't careful, you're not gonna catch that. Okay. Make sure you make sure that everything is, is the way it's supposed to be. The way you discussed it with well from the low board. When you call them up in the discussion portion, they make sure it all checks out with this rate card. Okay. Check your rate, check the miles. All right. Then then once you thoroughly check that, okay, go through your contact um, information. You got your instructions now. All rate confirmations are going to have some type of, of instructions, okay? All right? These are the instructions. Contact, appointment instructions, okay? Operator hours, tally, lazy, whatever, whatever, driver's license, and hard hat. It tells you that this is what they got to have. Driver's license, hard hat, twit card, twit card. That's what those people that this, this is like going to adopt. Um, to a, to a, um, 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 the dock where the where the ships come in, going to the port. So they gotta have a twit card in order to get onto the port. So make sure that your carrier has a twit card because so it has the instructions right here. No appointment, okay, between eight and three thirty p.m. No appointment needed as long as they're showing up between eight a.m. eight a.m. and three thirty p.m. Monday through Friday, and this is rebar. You see, length, and all that type of stuff. Okay, so this is a steel load. All right, that's your that that those are your instructions on the pickup. Those are your those are your appointment instructions. Make sure you read those and make sure that your carrier can comply with those appointment instructions. Because so they can't, they're going to deny them. Pick up, they're gonna turn them away. And you don't want that. But then that's on you. Okay. Where is it picking up? Tampa. Make sure you verify the pickup or where it's picking up at. Okay. Make sure you verify that. Driver must have four by four advantage in order for it's supposed to be customer to unload truck. Please call bar. There's a phone number when loaded. Okay. These are make sure you look, it is so very important. I, I know I keep saying this, but it's so very important that you make sure you go over this rate con and you understand it. Make sure your carrier understands it. Make sure they have read and you have read all the instructions. Okay. Down here, you got your stop delivery. All right. Or where you're going to be dropping off at. You got a contact person there too. Okay, tells you what they warn that you contact needs to call two hours out. Did y'all catch that? That means when your carrier, when your carrier gets within two hours of where they're dropping off, a call needs to be made between eight and three, needs to call two hours out. Between eight and three, eight a.m. and three p.m. on your drop. Now, some of y'all might say, uh, "Now when they turn him away." The watch guys say, "Hey, you can call." The reason why they want you to call to us so they go to prepare for the delivery, so they can have people there ready to unload them, so they don't have to sit there and wait all day to get loaded. I mean, to get unloaded. Okay, so make sure your people they understand this. Those are the instructions. It gives them the phone number and the person they need to contact and they need to call when they be, when they get two hours out from their destination. Okay? Shamrock Steel Sales, there's the address, all that type of stuff. Delivery number. Driver must write the following customer delivery number on the what? Bill of Lading. That's what the BL stands for. That's the delivery receipt that they're going to give your driver after he has dropped the load. He needs to write on that the delivery number, which is that number right there. That's the delivery number. Okay? These instructions have to be followed. People. They really do. They really do. Have driver call customers. Two hours 
prior to arrival, again, two hours out, two hours prior to arrival. We emphasize that again, two hours. So they can prepare for the delivery and be able to get him unloaded as quickly as possible when he gets there. All right. Now, here's all this stuff down here again. And, they, and we usually, as a broker, we will encase this so that make sure you see all this again. Customer delivery number. It is right there. Must appear on bill of late. Okay. Total freight fee. There it is again. $1,100, $1,100. Flat. Okay. Total miles. 534 miles. Right. No tarp required. If top is required, it's going to be somewhere on this rate con. Okay? Special instructions. Please read. Give instructions to your drivers. This is what we do to make sure that you as a dispatcher are being able to know that this is important and you need to give this stuff to your drivers. Trailers to be loaded to maximum capacity per interstate regulations. Please notify immediately if pickup date and or delivery date cannot be met. Please have driver call with tally prior to leaving the meal. Woo, well then down here, there is our stamp, our RBS Transport LLC our address, shipping at rbbstransport.com, our website, shipwithrbbs.com, okay? Phone number, fax number, all that type of stuff. Now, that is a properly filled out and formatted rate confirmation. And it is highly important. It is extremely important that you all read those rate confirmations. Make sure you understand those rate confirmations. Make sure that your carrier understands all the instructions on the rate confirmation. Make sure your carrier can comply with all of the instructions on the rate confirmation, okay? Make sure that everything that you all talked about is in the rate confirmation. And there's nothing extra that you all did not discuss. If there is no detention pay in the rate confirmation, that because no detention pay was never discussed. Now, if, if, if at this point, you see that there's no detention pay in the rate confirmation, right? Then you're going to go back and you're going to call the broker back and say, hey, what about detention pay? Okay, what if he gets held up? Right? But see all these references to call two hours before when you're two hours out, call two hours prior when you call out down here again, call two hours before. All that is so that he doesn't get held up. That's why they want you to call two hours before so they can get everybody ready. So when he comes pulling in on time, they can be right there. Boom, 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 boom. Get anything, get, get him off the what's it called? Load, load him up, pop, 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 pop. Get him out. He's on his way. Get him in and out in less than an hour. Hour and a half. If you if you do the things that are on the rate confirmation that we ask you to do, or that the broker asks you to do, especially if they're telling you to call customer two hours prior to arrival, call two hours out. If you do those things, your carrier is not going to have a problem getting in and out. If they're on time, they're going to be they're going to be waiting for it. They're going to be ready for it. Bam. All right? And the reason why I want you to call two hours, because they're not giving you a set time to be there. They're just saying when you're two hours out, in a time between, what, 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., when you are two hours out from the destination, just give them a ring. Let them know that you're here. I'm just two hours out. I'll be there in about, I'll be there in possibly two hours. That way, they know they got to be ready within the next two hours. So when you come rolling in at an hour and 58 minutes, they're ready. They got the four lifts there. They got the people. They got the manpower there. They, they got the right thing. So when you get at the gate, you're going to tell you what, where to back up to or, 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 or where to pull up to. And they're going to be ready. Get everything. As soon as you go, go in there, you put that truck in the park and you put them chunks on there and Ooh, get them straps off, they're going to be ready to take it off. In and out. Smooth. That's how it's supposed to run. Okay? This, this is why I say that the rate confirmation is one of the most important and essential forms that you're going to have to go over. 
because this is going to tell the tale of the deep. All right. Do we have any questions over here from our um, YouTube channel? YouTube channel? Uh, no. Well, good evening. Hello, Alexander Myers. Nice for you to join us. Hello, uh, Melly Mel. Uh, well, good evening to you. Uh, thank you for, you know, uh, uh, Melly Mel says, good evening, Calvin. Me, thanks for, for your time. Hey, you know, I'm here. And, you know, if, if you're in a storm outside, you know, we have some bad weather down here in Florida. We get some of that weather coming in from Texas, that bad, bad, bad storm. But uh, this is all I really have for you all tonight. It was going to be on rate confirmation real quick. Everything. And I got some prime real stakes coming in. So I got to, you know, wife going to have dinner here in a second. So, but uh, this is this was our training uh, for tonight, rate confirmation. Okay, how important it is extremely important that you all review these rate confirmations. It's very important that everybody understands rate confirmation. It's extremely important that you make sure everything that you all discuss is in the rate confirmation. Make sure the money is right. Make sure, make sure the number of drops, the number of pickup, all that stuff is gonna is gonna, is gonna eat your pockets if it's not the way you discuss it. All right. With that being said. Hey, I appreciate y'all for joining us. Thank y'all for joining us as always. I look to see y'all back here on Saturday for the Brokers Hour that we have this Saturday. Thanks again, everybody. Have a good night. Bye, y'all.